First thing we're gonna do is remove the screws from the uh, old existing lock set. We won't need any fancy tools or anything like that. I am gonna do though is remove, shut the screen door so I have easier access. Old lock sets out. Right, even if you know what you're doing, always take a minute or two to look over the manual and see if there's anything special that has to be done. So you have to slide the unit right on in. Obviously, lock first. Make sure you feed the wires through, don't pinch them, hold it in a plate. It's pretty snug, but it's windy, so I'm a little worried. Now I'm going to put the plate over this. All right, now the top of one should line up perfectly. Next is your inside handle. First thing we're going to do is plug the connector in. Did this correctly, it should go in. Now, with the striker, it says we have to change that out. So, we're going to take a look at that now. I'm going to try it first. So I don't know if I really need to change it. All right, so um, I'm not going to change the striker, but now we got to put batteries in the unit and uh, get it set up. Now if you watch our unboxing, you still have keys. You know, if you're going to have the unit in storage for a long time, you're going to just gonna go over here and just shut the keyless off. Today, though, we are going to program it to a code. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that because I don't want everyone to know my code. So, let's get started on that. We'll put the batteries in. 
Oh, he already had a dead bolt. Okay. Finally, press the lock and unlock button to confirm. Okay. So there's lock. Unlock. Okay, now let's try the top one. Okay, well that's the bottom one. Why do you do the top one? So I guess both buttons just do the same lock. All, all four buttons do the same lock. So there's that one. Let's do the other key fob. We still got to enter the. Uh, program it still so we'll do that next so get the other key fob out lock unlock <laughs> how about that that's nice all right since programming this would uh, allow you guys to actually see our code uh, I'm not going to program it but I'll read it to you. It says, um, of course, it gives you a little spot here to write it down in case you forget. Uh, we're pressing eight for, for two seconds while still keeping the eight key pressed. Also lock the key, lock key, then release both. A confirmation beep uh, will let you know that it's been programmed. Okay, so then on, for your third step, you're gonna, you're gonna enter the code, the existing code from the factory is one, two, three. Then press lock. Right after that, then put your new code in, press lock. Confirm the new code again, and press lock to, with a confirmation beep. So, not too hard. Um, they do have a spot where you can go online for a tutorial video on how to do that if you have any problems. So, um, I am not going to record this part for safety reasons. So basically for tools, Phillips screwdriver. That's pretty much all you're gonna need. For most coaches, that's all you need. Unfortunately, mine, the, the hole was slightly uh, too small. So all I did is, with a, I just cleared a spot for the one uh, screw. That was it. Went in perfectly, so. Uh, wasn't hard to do once you got it going. Um, all together, if I didn't have to stop for the wind and that big explosion or whatever it was, I wasn't somebody shooting somebody. I guess the transformer in the backyard just blew up. So. Well, that ain't good. Sounds like somebody shot somebody. 
um, that slowed me down. <laughs> uh, other than that, I would say, you know, 15 minutes to a half hour tops to swap, to swap it out. Now that I know how to do this one, uh, when we do the one for the bathroom door, uh, probably be a lot faster because uh, I know and I know what to expect now. So, um, in general, though, you don't have to have any, you know, uh, carpentry carpentry skills to do this one. So, um, the ease of being able to get out of the truck or come up to this in the rain and hit this and unlock it is going to be awesome. And for the fire stuff I was talking about earlier uh, for the back one if I need to get in there real fast I can push the key code or I can use the key fob I love that and then once it's in storage shut the power off and you have regular keys so I mean that's awesome so all right I'm gonna clean this up and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's totally done all right so I, put, I did my code did the whole programming less than 30 seconds super simple super easy I'll put a link below where you can get your own CarmTech products. They have the locks, they have a leveling uh, system and everything. So a uh, leveling system video is coming up soon, uh, as soon as the weather clears up enough where I can do it on the ground uh, evenly here, here in the driveway at one work way too much of an incline. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment below and I'll answer as soon as I can. Until next time, happy trails.